Chunk, 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 Hello, everybody. In today's lesson for Practical MDO, we're talking about connecting variables versus promoting them and what that means. These terms may not mean anything to you yet, but we will get into them and I'll show you some examples and really try to spell out what this means for your multidisciplinary models. There are two ways to make variables talk to each other in OpenMDAO, connections and promotions. We'll dig into that in just a moment. This absolutely has to do with the modeling section in our course. Okay, so first I want to sort of define what connecting means, and I'll do that through an example. And I'll tell you what, for this lesson, I really worked out the animations. We have moving camera scenes. Uh, I hope it's helpful. We'll, we'll find out. Here we have a model. And within this model, we have two main groups. We have the weights group and the costs group. You can think of the weights group as sort of computing the, the weight of an aircraft in this case. And the cost is computing, you might, you might have guessed, the cost of the aircraft. In this case, this is supposed to be just an extremely simple example of something that we care about. And it's, a, and it's a multidisciplinary system. Definitely not a complex one in this case. Now I'll show you some example inputs in purple and outputs in orange. Let's say we're looking at the weight group here. We have the aircraft size coming in, maybe from some geometry group or some other sets of design variables. And we have many outputs, but let's just look at one for right now. Uh, max takeoff weight, or MTAU. The idea here is if we're just looking at one portion of this weights group here, we have the inputs, some definition of the aircraft size and some outputs, the, the takeoff weight. And then to compute the cost, in this case, we might need some notion of the max takeoff weight. Maybe our cost of the aircraft is based on how much material we need to use to produce that aircraft. So here the cost, uh, aircraft cost, is based on max takeoff weight. Again, this is grossly oversimplifying both the weights and costs ideas, but please just pretend that these are the only variables that matter for this case. So now with these weights and cost groups as shown, let's take a look at the code needed in OpenMDO to create a system that looks like this tree. First, we instantiate a problem, and then we add two subsystems, the weights and costs models. Here we assume we already have some groups called weights and costs that are defined that we can simply instantiate here. Now I'm showing this tree view because that's often one of the most intuitive ways to think about systems, but here is an n squared view, which I do and will reference across many other lessons. I hope by showing both the tree and the n squared views, I can really solidify what it means to connect and promote variables. So if we ran those three lines of code, as I showed you before, we would have an n2 that looks like this. We have the weights and the costs. We have aircraft size and max takeoff weight coming out of the weights group and costs taking in the weight and aircraft cost coming out. However, take a look here. There's nothing in the off diagonal to show that this max takeoff weight is connected to the other max takeoff weight. Now you might say, hey, but these have the same name. Shouldn't OpenMDO know that I want to connect these things? Well, maybe, but it does not assume that you want to connect these things. Maybe these names simply happen to be the same. Maybe you have an extremely complex system and it doesn't want to make any assumptions about that. This actually uh, protects you. Let's say you have like rho is the density of a material and in other places rho is the density of air, right? That could easily get very messy unless you very purposely knew where those variables lived and in what namespace they lived. So I want to introduce the idea of connecting things. By adding this line to the OpenMDO code, prob.model.connect, we can specify we want the weights version of max takeoff weight to be connected to the costs version of max takeoff weight. This means that the output in orange max takeoff weight, if you follow this arrow, is now connected to the purple input for max takeoff weight in the cost side of things. This is great, this is what we want. We know in this case, this is what we want. Let me zoom back in on the n squared here and take a look now, boom, there's something in that off diagonal. And this shows that the max takeoff weight in the weights is linked to the max takeoff weight in the costs. And if we were to, to kind of look at the execution of what this would mean, again, this is waving away a lot of the details we have the size coming into weights, which computes the max takeoff weight, which then gets passed into the cost group and is used to compute aircraft costs. You can kind of follow this here with a little highlighted lines. So that was the extremely basic idea of connections. And we showed a very simple example here. But I want to introduce another way of making variables talk to each other with an OpenMDO called promotions. Now, these are not the promotions that you get at a job when you've done a good job. These are promotions in terms of moving variables that live at a certain level and pushing them up to another level. Let's take a look at what that means. 
So here, when we instantiate these groups, if instead of just instantiating them, we said promotes equals and then a list of variables, it would mean that these variables no longer live at just this group level, they get promoted up out of there. You can think of this in programming terms like the namespace. So previously, max takeoff weight only lived at weights and it only lived at costs separately. But if we promote both of them, it now lives at the model level as one thing, one variable. This output is the input, and so it automatically talks to it. There's no need for a connection here because it's promoted up to the same level. It, it kind of lives in that same group now. I hope this diagram and the tree view makes sense here when I say the variable lives right at the model level, and I kind of grayed out the idea of it living at these lower levels. Let's also take a look at the, the n squared for this promoted case. So here, we still have this off-diagonal block. It shows that things are connected here. Now I say connected here, but we didn't issue a connection. We simply promoted things up to the same level. I also want to draw attention to the absolute and promoted names. This is a subtlety, but it's very important. So in OpenMDO, there are two types of names. There's the absolute name, which is the nitty gritty details of exactly where a variable lives within the entire nested hierarchy of a problem. But there's also the promoted name, which is where it lives after all of the promotions. So here we see the absolute name in this case is weights.maxTakeOffWeight. But the promoted name is just maxTakeOffWeight. That just lives at the model level. So what this is highlighting is that no longer does the idea of max takeoff weight live only at the weights level. We promoted that up to the model level. This allows anything at the model level that has the same type of promotion for any of these variables to use the variables instantly. We don't need to issue connections. We don't need to tell the, the different parts of the model to talk to each other. It now lives in that same bucket, that same top level bucket. Now you don't have to promote things all the way up to the model level. If you have nested groups, you can choose which group level to promote them to. Let's say you have a group that's really focused on error structural design. It needs to have all the wing geometry at the same level. You can do that there. And then let's say this error structural group is part of a bigger group. You can stop promoting right there. This allows you to really have delicate control of where your variables live, what it means to access them, and, uh, and which components are talking to which groups. Zooming out here, it's just kind of a fun view of everything that we were talking about here. I can't stress enough how simple of an example this is. It, it's it's too simple, really. It, it waves away a lot of the details. It doesn't really show a nested hierarchy. But I want to start with this extremely simple example just to highlight the idea of connections versus promotions. Now again, connections, they simply say, okay, these two are connected to each other. Please send data over to here. Whereas promotion says, here's a handle for this variable. It now lives here. This is the same variable. I hope that makes sense. Choosing when to connect things versus promote them kind of becomes a, an art more than a science. You have to figure out what makes the most sense for your model uh, based on how nested the groups are, who's going to be using them, what kind of disciplines there are. Here, this real simple example doesn't get into all the nuts and bolts about that, but I hope when you make your own model or examine some of the future lessons, you can kind of take note about when we use connections versus promotions. So here I just wanted to introduce the extremely basic ideas of connections and promotions. We didn't go into necessarily when you should use what, but just how they work and what that means at the OpenMDO level. When you're building a model or using a model, I highly suggest you actually take the time to figure out where you should have your variables living. This will make it easier for you to reuse different parts of your model or pass it off to others. Again, by defining the puzzle piece edges in this multidisciplinary model, you can more easily set up multiple different pieces to work together. As always, please hit those like and subscribe buttons if you've liked what you've seen. And guys, gals, and non-binary pals, thank you for watching. Bye.